We just jumped from one crisis to the next. Good morning, everybody out there in YouTube land. Cruise man, getting ready to head out from my morning coffee to head back home. Thought I'd do a little motor vlog, get you guys caught up on some of the cool stuff going on here. If you're new to the channel, got to go through my little riff here. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs, where we talk about motorcycles and stuff. It is about 10 minutes till 8. I think I'm going to have to go right and go back a different route just because daylight savings time uh, for it to be light enough out for me to do my motor vlog, I really need to... Uh, I have to wait till almost 8 o'clock so we're in the height of morning traffic so that means I have to go a different route because I can never get out at this intersection. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that notification bell. Uh, we're trying to get as many subscribers as we possibly can. I'm going to talk about that a little more here in a second if I remember to because sometimes I say I'm going to talk about something and then I forget. I get distracted. But anyway, it is Thursday, a little warmer this morning, it's about 61 degrees outside, and I know the first thing some of you are going to say, hey, you've got your uh, Olympia high-vis jacket back on, what happened to the Bon Armor jacket? Well, before you jump to conclusions, I am wearing the Bon Armor flannel jacket. Now, in my last video where I talked about these new products they have, I referred to it as a shirt. But I noticed on their website they actually call it a flannel jacket. But it looks, to me, it looks like a, a shirt. But it does have the Kevlar lining and it does have uh, pockets where you can put all of the armor in. So today, I thought I'm going to try wearing that flannel jacket underneath my Olympia high-vis jacket to see if it will fit. And I'll just use the armor that's in the shirt, or what I call the shirt, it's actually their flannel jacket. I do not have any armor installed in this Olympia jacket. I removed the armor from the Olympia jacket and I'm just using the armor that's uh, in the shirt in the shirt jacket or the flannel jacket. So that's why uh, you see me wearing my high vis this morning. And when it's 60 degrees outside, it uh, actually says 59 right now. It's not really cold enough to need the Bon Armor, the new jacket I have. I mean, it's fine. I could wear it. It wouldn't be too hot. But I just thought this would be a great opportunity to test out this flannel jacket. So, you can see here, underneath, if you can see that. I don't know. Maybe I have to stand up. You can see that. I've got the flannel on. And it's very comfortable. And the, what's cool about that is say when I get to a restaurant or wherever I'm going, I can take off my motorcycle jacket and man, it just looks like I've got a nice flannel shirt on underneath. I mean, it's just, that's what's cool about these new products is the de they don't look like motorcycle gear. They just look like stuff you would normally wear anywhere. Very cool. So I'm going a little bit different route home. Uh, there's a lot of construction on the road that I normally go on. And it's got things kind of slowed down, and I, plus it's heavy morning traffic. I'm in a school zone right now. 
but it looks like we are starting to get a little bit more warm weather coming our way. I hope we don't have any more freezes this year. It's about time to start planning a spring, early summer, spring road trip. Now I will be going to Midland again. I always go two or three times a year. And I will be riding the bike out hopefully in April. I'm still waiting. I'm waiting for all my income tax stuff to get done. So, and once that's out of the way, if I have any money left over, uh, I'll, which it doesn't look like I'm going to, then I'll, uh, I'll head out to Midland. It'll be nice to get away for a few days and just get all this, you know, does it just seem, is it just me, or does it seem like we just jump from one crisis to the next in this country? You know, we just kind of started getting over the COVID crisis, and then this Ukraine war thing hits. And it's, uh, it's getting a little tiring. We just jump from one crisis to the next. And it's... You know, it's, I don't know. So it'll be good to get out on the road. I'd like to plan a five or six or seven day road trip somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. I may stay in Texas. If if some of you guys are in the uh, and ladies are in the planning stages of a road trip for spring or summer, let me know in the comments down below. Where are you planning to go? What What's your destination? Um, there's a few more things I have to consider now. I think I might have to consider when I'm planning a road trip. Maybe I don't have to, but I am considering these things. I'll talk about that in my next video. And also I want to remind you that last Sunday, I forgot to mention this in my last video, but last Sunday, or Saturday, I'm sorry, last Saturday, uh, we had our little meetup at Awake here in Carrollton and it was extremely cold that it was like 27 degrees so I think that kept some people from coming out but we got uh, we had of course Don was there Don Smith and we had uh, Russ Perlman showed up and he actually rode his 2021 Goldwing he only lives a couple miles from awake so but he you know he man, man up and got on the bike and rode over there and so I uh, met with him, and Miguel came all the way from Mineral Wells. Rode in. He didn't ride his bike. He drove his car or truck. Uh, but he, he did come 90 miles to uh, just to visit with us. And another really cool thing that uh, completely unexpected, the manager of the restaurant came up to me. Uh, while we were sitting there talking came up to us and told me I had a phone call from a, a follower on uh, in Germany He had called the restaurant so I got on the phone and I talked to Jürgen in Germany Shout out to Jürgen. Thank you by the way Jürgen called said hi we visited for a minute on the phone he took the time to place a phone call long distance from Germany just to say hi. But anyway, Jürgen, thank you. And by the way, Jürgen was kind enough to uh, pay for my breakfast. So thank you, Jürgen. Appreciate that. Just wanted to make sure to mention that. So we'll probably plan another meetup uh, when the weather starts getting more consistently warm. And maybe we'll even, I don't know, head out for breakfast and do a little ride somewhere. Uh, I'm not much for group rides, you know, I'm just not, uh, I'm just not big on it, plus there's liability issues I don't, I'm concerned about, but, but maybe we could, uh, maybe we could all meet for breakfast and then, you know, if everybody wants to head out on a group ride, and it's a good opportunity for some of you local guys here to meet other riders and maybe you guys want to put together some rides between yourselves couple of other quick reminders um, I came across a really good deal on Amazon I do this from time to time I'll be looking around and I'll find a deal and I'll let you know about it they have the Garmin Zumo XT which is what I have on my bike 
I love it, by the way. They have it on sale again. $100 off, only $3.99, which is a great deal for this Garmin Zumo XT. I'll put a link in the description of this video. I don't know how long they're going to be offering it at that price. But if you're in, you know, right in time for riding season, if you're in the market for a great GPS for your motorcycle, check out the Garmin XT on Amazon right now. But anyway, check out that Garmin XT. Also, the spring promotion of my Honda Goldwing maintenance videos is going to be ending very soon. So if you're in the market, if you're maintaining your bike, getting it ready to ride for the spring, for this riding season, get those videos now because that price is going to be going up very shortly. And uh, that, that deal, will, the response has been incredible. Anyway, if you like this video, remember to click that thumbs up. Much appreciated. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.